So I spent $580 on Instagram shoutouts and this is what happened. This is not only going to be a very informative video, but it's also going to be a very entertaining video, I should hope. But more importantly, it's going to be very informative on how you can pay for shout outs and not be worried about getting scammed or having like farms just destroy your Instagram account. So keep watching and let's get right into it. I'm going to split this video into five parts. Okay, I'm going to split it into the idea, the research, the execution, the result, and monetization. All right, once I split it all into these five parts, hopefully you'll get a really good understanding of how the money was spent, what the money um, got me, and whether or not the money was worth it, and how I'm able to recoup that money with monetization. So let's get started with the first one, which is the idea. Well, a while back, I paid for influencers to promote one of my t-shirts, which failed miserably. And I thought it was the influencer's fault, but actually it was also my fault because I didn't do my due diligence, I didn't do the research, I didn't really do anything properly, to be honest. I kind of just thought, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for ads and I'm gonna get tons of sales and I'm gonna be rich. That didn't work. So I thought I would try a similar kind of idea and I would pay for shout outs to actually increase my follower gain, my likes per photo and my Instagram account Overall, I wasn't going to promote a t-shirt, I was just going to promote my Instagram, my business Instagram channel. I have done an immense amount of research for this video and for, you know, actually paying for these sponsored posts and that's what I'm going to tell you about in the next section, the research section. I just really, really hope that you learned something from this video. I want you to leave a comment down below if you learned anything from this video, you know, about paying for sponsored posts or anything like that, how to grow an Instagram account. So. Let's get on to the research section of this video. I started following big accounts all over the place, big accounts, small accounts, you name it. I started tracking them every single day, the amount of followers they gained, the amount of followers they lost, the amount of likes they got, the amount of video views they got. Literally, I just tracked everything, the kind of comments they got, all of it. This was a long process. I did this for about three weeks. So I really, really did my research this time. These are just some of the accounts I was tracking, all right? All the links should be popping up right now. All right, this is who I was tracking. I was obviously tracking a lot more people than, than this, but this is just a few of them. You can see this video wasn't made in a day. It's taken me months. It's taken me a very long time. So for that reason, please give this video a thumbs up. It would massively help me and it would tell me my efforts were worth it. But anyways, let's get right back into the research section. So. What did I start by doing? I started seeing which accounts these huge ones were shouting out already. So I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna message these smaller accounts. So for example, if an account with 20,000 um, Instagram followers paid an account with a million followers, I can see that they're saying, you know, go and follow this person. So I went to that person and I messaged him saying, hey, I can see you're paying for shout outs with this person. I'm so curious, how is it going for you? Have they scammed you? Is it working? You know, are you seeing benefits from it? please tell me anything. And a few people actually got back in contact with me and this is the conversation, this is how it went. Not everyone replied to me, but some people did. And one individual actually replied to me with so much helpful information, they deserve everyone's follow right now. He didn't just tell me, you know, who was like working for him then and there. He told me everything. He told me all the accounts he used. He told me which ones work for him the best. He told me wh like what I should be doing with them, what kind of post to do, everything. Like he was very, very, very helpful. Let me change this because it's gone a bit too bright. But yeah, he was just brilliant and honestly very, very helpful. I really went to town with these accounts. I did so much research. So one of the big things I did was I went onto Social Blade to find out how well their engagement rates were because I didn't want to deal with anyone that had less than 1% engagement rates. So what I would do is I would be able to go to Social Blade, I would be able to put in their account information and I would be able to see what their percent of likes were in relation to how many followers they had. And this really opened my eyes to a lot of the people that I was actually following because it made me realize that they're crap. So some of them weren't crap, some of them were really good, and those are the ones that I actually went with. Usually smaller accounts have a much higher percentage because they've got a lot, a much closer follower base and they tend to get a lot more likes rather than accounts that have millions and millions of followers, they're gonna have a much smaller percentage. Now, as well as this, I had to factor in so many other aspects. I had to factor in what country they're from because I didn't want to have, oh, sorry, I wanted to have followers just from the UK and the USA. And I'm going to get into this later because I did get royally screwed over during this experiment as well um, and threatened. Well, that wasn't fun. But I'm going to get into that later on in the execution phase. But I basically did 
so much research. I'm sure you can I'm sure you can understand at this point. And so what was the next step? I started messaging them and I started asking them how much it would cost for shout outs and what their offers were and you know, all that kind of stuff. I was offered four types of promotions, okay? I was offered a story, I was offered a post, I was offered a post plus story, and I was offered a description shout out. And let me just quickly explain what those four things are for you, just so we can move on with the video. A story shout out is literally what it says on the tin. It's a shout out in their story. Okay, a post again is literally what it says in the tin. It's a post and then they'll say like, go and follow this person. Generally, you create the post, you give it to them and also that post probably only lasts for about a day, then they'll delete it. A uh, story plus a post is just the first and the second added together, you know, combined. And the last one is a description shout out. A description shout out is the most interesting one and it's the one that I actually ended up going for. And that is when you don't actually have to create any content, they create all the content like they normally do and the only difference is they all post in their description of their post something that looks like this, right? And it basically just says go and follow at Shimmy Morris 1, blah 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 blah, follow at Shimmy Morris 1 and, and they'll post that however many times per day or per week and that I found, you know, got the best results. The execution! What did I do? Which, which, which kind of post did I end up going for? How much money did I end up spending? Let's discuss. So at first, I just wanted to do a simple test. I wasn't diving into the deep end here. I wanted to make sure that the person I was using was going to be really, really good. So he was charging $350 for a week of posts, and that's two posts a day, so that's 14 posts. And I said, look, that's a bit too much money for me at the moment. I'm just, just dipping my toes in the, the shallow end kind of thing. So I ended up paying $100 for four posts, it's two days of posts, and these were just shout out description posts, which is this one over here, you know, where uh, I they, they make the photo, they do the description, they just say, go and follow this person. So that was the execution. What was the result like? Well, the first test, it did really, really, really well, and the guy wasn't even happy with one of his four posts. So he made a, a, a fifth post for me. He deleted the fourth, he deleted one of them and remade it, which did a lot better. He didn't even tell me, he just did it, which was, I found really, really nice, really honest of him. And it did so well. Now this started on, I've got my notes here, by the way, because there's a lot of numbers going on. But this started on the 1st of July and I gained around 650 followers after these two days of posts, which um, resulted in about a cost of 15 cents per follower, which I think is really, really good, especially considering, you know, I've done a lot of Facebook advertising, I've done a lot of advertising, and cost, lead costs are really, really expensive, and I know Instagram leads aren't as valuable as, you know, uh, people signing up to an email list, but 15 cents is definitely a lot cheaper than one or two dollars, which is usually what it would cost per lead. So this was a very, very good um, result and I wanted to move forward. So what did I do next? I just want to quickly pause and say I just realized that the microphone wasn't actually connected so the audio probably was a bit tinny. This is a lot better. I apologize for, I don't know, the five minutes of earache I've probably just given you. Hopefully you've lasted this long and you understand and we can get on with the video with actually good audio. I'm happy I noticed at some point during the video. So let's continue. So just to, just to you know, recap, I was very happy with the results I got. I paid $100, I got 650 followers over two days with four posts, really, really happy with those results. I wanted to continue, so what did I do? Well, I went and I asked for the full package, which was a week of posts, uh, two posts a day, which is 14 posts costing $350. However, annoyingly, he was quite busy and the next available slot was 26th of July, which was two weeks later, or about three weeks later, so in the meantime, I just had to sit back and wait. Now, whilst I was on my high of success and like, woo, I found someone to, you know, promote my Instagram, I did something stupid. I did something very, very stupid. I started getting a whole bunch of messages from other people and they saw that this one guy was promoting my post. I started getting messages from other people saying, do you want me to promote your post? Do you want me to promote your post? Do you want me to promote your post? And stupidly, I actually responded to some of these people and it just was the worst thing I did in this experiment. Just a piece of advice, ignore all of those people, okay? I'll only message people yourself and do your own research. Don't speak to anyone who comes to you because it's going to be crap. Right, now let me explain to you what happened. I got sucked into it really, really quickly. I didn't do the proper research. I just was like, the guy was speaking to me. I was like, oh my God, this sounds amazing. Yeah, okay, okay I wanna start, come on, just, let's get going. And uh, I lost, all my principles that I had decided I was going to follow during this experiment 
which really, really annoyed me. Now, I'm going to leave this person's name out of it. Even though he literally threatened me, um, he was scum of the earth and he gave me fake farmed followers. Um, I like that triple F. Um, I am going to leave his name out just because I'm not a fan of name and sh shame and name and shaming, naming and shaming, whatever the sentence is. I'm, I'm not a fan of, you know, throwing someone else under the bus. He might do it to me, but that's not who I am. So I'm going to leave his name out. But he was an absolute, let's put it that way. It basically started with him asking me if I wanted promotions and I said I'm willing to do a test. Right, he said he would be able to do targeted followers, targeted followers, like UK, USA, that kind of thing. And he'd be able to guarantee a certain number. He said, for $80, I can guarantee you 1,000 followers. Thinking about it now, there are so many red flags. He could have just bought those followers. I don't know. But there are so many red flags. Look, I don't think he did buy those followers, but I did think, I do know what he did do, which, whatever. But anyways, basically what he would do is, for the $80, he would keep posting, keep posting on his Instagram until I've reached my goal of 1,000 followers. Not really taking into account that I was getting daily followers anyway at this point, but... That's a side note, doesn't really matter. To cut a long story short, I decided to go for it. You know, I paid him the $80 and I said, let's try this out, it sounds really good. You sound genuine. I was wrong, but whatever. Anyway, about half a day in, I was looking at my followers and I was like, all right, fine, this is working, I'm getting followers. Um, but then I looked at my analytics. Oh, and by the way, he, what he didn't tell me was, he didn't tell me he was gonna delete the post off 24 hours. This was a new thing, right? Which apparently is a thing. But anyway, besides that, right, I started looking at my analytics. Now, before this guy was in my life, um, it, before he was all over my Instagram, my analytics showed that the USA was like majority, right? But 20 something percent, UK was well up there as well. And then I think my third one was India at about 5%, which was absolutely fine. Like I, I love all three countries equally, right? There's no problem in any of them. However, what I did notice is about half a day in, India was shooting up to 20, uh, shoot, shot up to 29%. America shot down to 18%. And I was starting to wonder, I was like, what, what's going on here? Like he said he was going to give me targeted followers from the UK and the USA. Now, look, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against India, literally nothing. However, I paid for, you know, targeted followers from the UK and the USA. And that's what I was expecting to get. And he just, you know, I don't know if this was from, was, if this was from a, um, a follower farm or a like farm, but basically my account, tons and tons and tons of people, um, was overrun basically. And it's just, it was, it was infuriating, right? Like that's not what I paid for, that's not what I wanted. And the fact that he just did it really annoyed me. So I messaged him, I messaged him nicely. I was like, I just like curiosity, um, what, what's happening here? Um, I don't see any increase. I only see increase in this one country. And yeah. This is where it got a bit interesting. We argued for a few hours, quite literally a few hours. He was being so adamant that he was right. And I mean, I was being adamant that I was right. And he was basically being like, well, you know, I can't do anything about it kind of thing. And I basically was asking for a refund because this is not what I paid for. He eventually gave me $20 out of the $80 back, which is pathetic when I think about it. But then on top of that, after he gave me the $20 and I was like, look, I'm really not happy here. He's like, it was like, I don't care, you know, whatever. I was like, well, look, you know what? This is going to just make my YouTube video really interesting because this is a whole like, kind of docu-series on it. Well, not really a docu-series, a little video. And that's when he got really angry. He was like, oh, if you use my name, and this is another reason why I'm not using his name, by the way, but if you, like, if you use my name, I'm going to you know, sue you. I'm going to delete your Instagram account. I know Instagram, like I know the head office. I'm very friendly with them. I was like, who are you? Like literally, who are you? And then he went on to be like, we, I'm part of a WhatsApp group with hundreds of other Instagram pages that, that do these shout outs of people. You know, I'm gonna tell them all to, to, to spam you and block you. I was like, calm down. And then I was like, this is really interesting. He's just kind of told me that there is WhatsApp groups out there with hundreds of Instagram um, pages, which will get you fake followers, fake likes. And it really made me realize how dangerous paying for Instagram shout outs could actually be. If you don't do your own research on the individual channel, right? And if you just let the people who message you, if you actually pay those people, they have a group. Right, he probably messaged that group being like, ah, oh, I suckered one in. Go and go and message him, see if he'll pay for followers from, from you as well, kind of thing. And it just made me realize there's like a ring of these 
scam artists on Instagram who literally are just trying to rip people off. Um, and that really opened my eyes, to be honest. I think he even sent me a screenshot of these groups. But again, like, I don't want to I don't want to post it. I don't want to share the names or anything like that just because not only do I not want these threats to come true, even though they probably would never come true, I'm not going to stoop down to his level. So you live and you learn, all right? You have good experiences, you have bad experiences. So after this, I decided, you know what? I'm going to ignore him. I blocked him because I just couldn't be bothered for the abuse anymore. And I just thought, you know, I'm going to wait for the 27th of July for this other guy who, by the way, said he had no idea who this person was. Um, he sounded a lot more legit. His follower base, he sent me all the screenshots of his analytics, were true, which was really good. And I just waited till the 27th, which was the day we actually, 27th of July, which is the day we actually started the promo. Um, we moved it forward from the 26th to the 27th just because of timing. But anyway, the 27th of July came. The promo started and I had 3,291 followers and at the end of the promo, after one week and 14 posts later, we had a total of 1,580 gained followers um, for $350, which meant that the follower cost was about 22 cents per follower, which as well as I'm aware is that is really, really good. And he, this person also averaged out my um, demographics again. So now it's USA is showing at the number one spot. So I'm very happy about that. Um, again, not that I have anything against any of these other countries. It's just, that's not what my channel, that's not what I was growing my channel to be like. Um, but anyways, as well as that, um, after this $350 and after the 1,580 gained followers, the promo ended. I was really, really happy with it. I was happy to go again with it. But again, obviously I had to wait for him to become available, which I think is at the end of August. But besides that, there's something else which I find really interesting. I'm now getting organic followers every single day without his ads. And just four days after that promo, I got a further 476 followers, which is really good considering I didn't actually have to pay for it. They were all US based. Um, like it was brilliant. And I only paid $350. And over the two weeks, I got the 1500, over the one week, sorry, I got the 1580, but then as further 476, which means I gained nearer 2000 followers, which also means the 22 cents per follower went down quite a bit, which I thought was really, really good. So I decided I would continue with this person. Again, like I said, I had to wait, but my aim is to try and get my Instagram account to 15,000 followers. Then I'll be able to do the swipe ups. I feel like it will be good enough to, you know, grow on its own at that point. And basically, you know, my, I, my aim is to try and get my Instagram to, to grow to a point where it's organically growing on its own and I won't need to pay for shout outs anymore. So what did this all get me? Well, originally I was getting about 40 to 50 people looking at my stories. Now I'm getting about five, 600 people, which I know is still not even near, you know, the amount of followers that I have, but it's still quite a good amount, all right? And my photos are getting more likes. They're not getting that many more likes, but I think that's just because of the way Instagram is. And, you know, I personally don't like that many photos on Instagram. I think the whole liking is kind of gone out the window and I kind of use Instagram just for the stories. And that's kind of why I've said kind of a lot of times, but that's why I wanted to do the swipe up, right? That's why I want to get to 10,000 followers so I can get that swipe up feature. Let's finish this video with the final section, the monetization. Now that we have a slightly bigger Instagram channel and hopefully when it gets to 10, 15,000, I want to tell you different ways you can actually monetize it because I don't want you to pay 350 or 400 or $500, right? $580. Uh, to grow your Instagram account if you have no way of monetizing it afterwards and actually recouping that money. Well, there are five ways which you can actually monetize your Instagram channel and I've written them down here, right? The first one is affiliates and that's promoting offers, you know, you find valuable that you personally like and you'll get a commission. The second one is shout outs. So actually other people paying you to shout out their Instagram account and that can get quite a good amount of money. The next one is promotions. So placements from companies, you know, while this is kind of like affiliate marketing, except the company pays you a lump sum to create a promotion for them. You know, if you're wearing sunglasses in one of your photos and the sunglasses company pays you a grand for that, then that's a promotion. The next one is courses. So actually selling your own courses if you have digital courses through your Instagram account. And the third one is your own products, your own physical products, your own digital products, whatever they may be, but more your own physical products like print on demand, like Amazon FBA, like you know, drop shipping, whatever they may be. Those are five ways to actually monetize your Instagram channel. So just to end this video, right, I wanna just give you a quick verdict of it and a quick rundown, just so you kind of know where I stand. 
And basically, I started out with in-depth research, right? I've, I've messaged other people who used Instagram accounts. I, uh, I used Social Blade to really look at their engagement rates. And then I paid a uh, hundred dollars and then three hundred and then eighty dollars and then three hundred and fifty dollars and I paid for sh um, description shout out kind of post which I think did really well for me I had a bit of a hiccup with one guy um, he screwed me over but that's besides the point then I um, had a really really successful um, promotion with the guy get with the, with the first guy with three hundred fifty dollars and I got a lot of organic followers from that as well and to finalize I think I will continue doing this till about ten to fifteen thousand followers and when I get around, when I get to that point, I'll be able to start monetizing my account properly. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this long-winded story. Let me know in the comments what you think. I would have, I, I, this video basically I wanted to make for so long. I wanted to tell you what it was like spending this amount of money on Instagram shoutouts and what it actually got me. So I hope you learned something from this. I hope you learned from my mistakes and also from my wins. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you have gotten this far, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. It just means the world to me that you're watching up to this point. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.